morning, Team Super. Today I thought it would be fun, and this is gonna sound like I've done it a million times, but just hear me out. I decided that I've never actually taken you through my day, step by step, all the things that come into my day, day in the life. Am I speaking English right now? I don't know, it's still early. Essentially, I'm gonna take you through a day in the life of a talk show host, a late night talk show host, also someone who does many other things, just so you can kind of see what my days look like, because I recognize in the vlogs, you see me perform, you see me do the writer's meeting, but you don't realize maybe how many punches come and go... I woke up at 9 a.m. My skin is totally breaking out, and I think it's the travel, the 21 hours on the plane. Today we need to drink lots of water. There will be no water points. We're not going down that rabbit hole again. But we're gonna drink a lot of water. I woke up, I got ready. I usually don't get dressed and do my hair and makeup, but I have a special meeting today, so I do need to do it. But here's what's happening. The time is 10.01. I had a writer's meeting start at 10. Clearly we're one minute late, so let's go do our writer's meeting. Before that, why don't we just become more late? I woke up with inexplicable anxiety. I guess most anxiety is inexplicable, but I have so much anxiety today. I think I'm just overwhelmed. I'm obviously a little bit tired. One of the hardest parts with this late night show, if I'm being really honest, come, let's have a seat. Talk, talk to me. I don't know how to gauge success. I do the shows and I'm like, that felt really good to me. Like, is NBC happy? Is the crew happy? Are people on YouTube gonna like this? Is this a success? Is this doing well? And I don't know how to gauge it because it's all so new to me. I guess that's just part of the learning process. In other news, my plant is dying. What the F? Baby, no. Let's go to our writer's meeting. I just realized I recorded a whole thing and I didn't press record. Okay, so now we're five minutes late for the writer's meeting. Just received some news. I can't share exactly what it is, but it's something that'll make my life just a little bit harder behind the scenes, just a little bit. <sighs> Punch number one of the day, here we go. I had a great writer's meeting. The time is now 11 a.m. We have a producer's meeting. A producer's meeting is basically when I'm given these specific... I'm stuttering, which means I'm stressed. When I'm giving pieces of paper about the guests that are coming today, what questions we're gonna ask them, yada, 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 um, let's do it. Okay, the time is 11.22 now. I have a meeting in eight minutes. It's girl love related. We're gonna switch gears from show to girl love. Let's talk about girl love. Let's talk about girls. Let's talk about gender equality. Let's go. All right, we got T minus five minutes till our meeting. David's here. <sighs> David helps with all girl love stuff. It's super dope. I'm giving him a little tour of the office right now. Cause then in the extra spare five minutes, why not just do friendship? Writers, how's it going? I had three minutes to spare, so I decided to come and harass you. Oh, wow. <laughs> How's it going? How's it going? Oh, it's great. How's it it's going? It's going so well. Thank you. Yeah, so you're gonna spend three minutes on me. Yeah. Finish my secret meeting that I cannot tell you about. The time is now 12.30. It is my lunch. Every day I have a lunch. That's not really a lunch. My writers are here. Oh, what are you giving me? This is to review for a segment today. Um, what is the segment called? Uh, Lily's power nap. And I love it. Alrighty y'all. Day in the life. The time is 12.50. My lunch ends in 10 minutes. I have not had lunch. I've not had a break, but this is generally how it goes. The day kind of gets jam-packed and the schedule changes. My schedule also kind of means nothing. Whatever the show requires is what's going to happen. I'm walking to the production office right now. No, to the stages right now. And what's up? How are you? I'm walking to the stages right now and I think I want to get at least five to ten minutes of meditation in because I feel not mentally and spiritually good. I feel like a weight right here and it's not my boobs. Partially my boobs, but it's also just other stuff. All right, now the time is 12.54, and I'm told that they'll be ready for me at rehearsal at one, which is in six minutes. <sighs> Sometimes you have to make some selfish moves to ensure that we're good here and here, so I'm gonna tell them they need to start at 1.15 so I can meditate. Let's go do that. First, let's change into some sweats. Just pop this pimple, all right? Oh my God. Time to meditate. Who cares about the pimples? We're meditating. One minute to spare. I can't say I feel 100% better, but I feel a little bit better just taking a few minutes to myself. My therapist says just 10 minutes a day, which said 10 minutes twice a day, but we're gonna do what we can. I'm fine though. I think you know what is a big part of this, if I'm just candid with all of you, if this, is this is a lot. It's like a lot to learn. I'm always tired. I feel like no matter how much sleep I get, I'm still tired. There's a lot of moving parts in a day. My schedule is always moving. There's a lot of punches to roll with. There's a lot of things out of my control, and I think that's the biggest thing. The YouTube world, I could control everything. And it's not a bad thing, it's just different. It's a different thing to get used to. This is a lot. And it's everything I experienced previously in my life. I feel like I experienced it now tenfold, you know positive comments Now I have that tenfold. That's great But with that negative comments, I see them tenfold before there was three people making videos about me online Now there's a hundred people making videos about me online that are mean and that are good So it's just like everything has been amplified the energy I am experiencing and giving out giving and receiving is just amplified and I think sometimes I'm just like shook a little bit by it with the amount of people I interact with, with the amount of things I have to do. Y'all know I already did a lot of things a day. I do double now. <laughs> We're gonna do this. We're committed to this. I'm very grateful. Someone else would be praying for this opportunity. I'm so grateful. And the goal is just to take all that pressure and all that stress and turn it into like, yo, this is the experience. And we gotta be thankful for experiences. So that's the mentality I have going into it. Go downstairs, we're gonna do rehearsal. Also, I'm about to get my period. I could explain a lot as well. 
think it hurts. It's 119, not because of me, we're 19 minutes behind on rehearsal. I usually always get a donut on the way to Crafty because why not? Zoe, are you gonna be in my vlog? What time do we have to be done rehearsal today? Uh, to three, be on time. Three o'clock. Three o'clock is the goal. What time does our first show start? Uh, five o'clock. So I go into hair and makeup. Okay. And does our talent have any hard outs? Uh, You're like, probably. always, always. Yeah, always, all the time. Don't <laughs> leave. Okay. All right, so the time is 2.17. We finished rehearsing the guest questions, the monologues. We are now trying to rehearse a segment we don't have the props for. So very often when I'm rehearsing, things get halted because we need so many pieces for things to happen. I need the cue cards, I need them highlighted, the prompter right there has to be up to date, and then my writers make changes, then we need all the props to be here for the game, and these are all different departments. It's not like YouTube where my three people were doing everything. There's all different departments. So right now we're waiting for cards to get printed to practice a game called Photo Feels. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Glenn. I'm one of Lily's editors. Glenn is amazing. Glenn is oh. always wearing a winter coat and then I turn off the AC because I know he's freezing. We're about to do a pre-recorded thing for a little segment here. What is the time? It's 2.35. We have 25 minutes to tell hair and makeup. Let's do this. Done. The time is 2.42. We finished 18 minutes early. You know what that means? For 18 minutes, I get to relax. Hey, Lil, can I ask you a few questions? Sure. Woohoo! Managed to eat a little bit of lunch. Now I'm walking to hair and makeup. During hair and makeup, I'm gonna review some YouTube stuff because I approved the titles and segments for a little late with little YouTube segments. Hello! Hey! Let's do it! Oops, just kidding. I forgot I was already wearing makeup because I had my meeting, so now I need to wash my face. Where's the light? Where the. Why is it my first day? I'm told if I take this and twist it, it'll break into. Uh oh! Technology, I tell you. Well, now I can't turn off the camera, so. The hardest part about hair and makeup is that I need to multitask a lot during it. So I try to go through my emails, I try to approve, approve stuff, approve stuff, and then I have to like go through the twig scripts. A million people come and talk to me. So hair and makeup, although it seems relaxing, it's honestly the part of my day that takes the most patience because I can't move my eyes, I can't move my hair, I can't move, but then I need to give notes and feedback to a million people that are talking to me. Let's go do it. The time is three. We have until what time for hair and makeup? 4.15. 4.15, but that includes wardrobe? I think so. 4.15, hair, and makeup, and wardrobe. Lego. Okie dokie. So during hair and makeup thus far, I've gone through my emails. I have sent some messages. I've gone through a script and a half. I've given notes. It's been a very productive time. Also, there's always this moment when my hair and makeup is getting done, where before it's done, I look like a demon. And then there's five minutes always where I look like a demon. And then I look good, but... We're kind of in the demon stage, aren't we? We're almost done hair and hey, makeup. Lily, yep. Can you approve something? Yep. Welcome okay. to the world of hair and makeup approvals. So this is the first photo. Okay, I love it. Second photo. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we are a couple minutes late, but it's okay. It's not okay. It's actually a big stress. When we're late for the show, it's a big deal because we can't make talent wait. Because talent's a whole thing, and I know this because I'm talent, and I'm the biggest douchebag ever. We're gonna rehearse this segment, and it involves a bed. And it's everything I wanted and more. So it's not actually a bed, it's a very uncomfortable cot. I've been played. There's a shoe debacle, my foot wasn't fitting in a shoe. What time is it right now? It's five o'clock, we're supposed to be starting the taping now. As you can see, we're not starting the taping now. But well, momentarily, I did a half of my vocal warm up. My outfit's dope. You feeling good? So here's the thing, I hate when I have pimples on the left side of my face. Whatever's natural, it's human, but most of the show, you see my left side of my face. So the fact that I got two giant zits is not a vibe. Let me get a chainsaw for these sneakers. <laughs> so I get mic'd up here, depending on my outfit, it's a white mic or a black mic. Um, so I get mic'd and then I walk down, pump myself up, psych myself up, I say hello to the guests, I go, no, are we gonna say hello to the guests first or go to prompter? Yeah. First we go to prompter. First we go to prompter, we're gonna go over the monologue one more time, we're gonna say hi to guests, then we're gonna talk to the audience. It's all happening, it's all process. But the audience is here, so we go this shortcut way. It smells like popcorn, fresh popcorn. Before you perform, you should never eat popcorn. It's the number one thing that gets stuck in your throat. When I walk through here, I always look to the left because the audience is right there. And for some reason, I think if I look to the left, I turn into this. Three, two, one. All right. Hey guys, give me a second. There's something stuck in my throat. Here, I start drinking my throat coke. What's the time? Like five, five, five. Wow. Five oh five. We're five minutes late. So welcome to my world. We've just discovered while doing this monologue, this episode's gonna come out in 2020, so the Fortnite jokes won't make sense. So now we're like, can we not do this monologue today? Should we bank it? Should we switch it? What's happening now? We're dealing with this crisis. 
At this moment, I have 0% clue what I'm going to say to these people. Stand up, please. Look to your left. Give it up for the one, the only, Lily We'll figure it out. coming from an event? No. Is it your wedding? No. You look great. Can you guys stand so we can see them? Can we get a round of All right, we're doing last minute touch-ups, last minute sips. Thanks, you know, we out here. <laughs> All right, and now somehow in this moment, I try to conjure up enough confidence to do the show. <laughs> Rap number one. Let's do the whole thing over again. All right, so I'm changing for my second show. I'm wearing a black suit. Uh, I want to take a moment to express gratitude because I know I started this day super stressed. And you know what I'm really grateful for? Is that I have a job that allows me to, I don't want to use the word escape, but it allows me to float, if that makes sense. It's like, I can be really stressed or sad. And most of the time, if I'm experiencing that and I go on stage or I'm on set, I go into this place where I'm like, I love what I'm doing so much, um, especially on my show because there's a live audience and I'm talking to guests and all where I actually forget about all my stresses and I forget about all of the, the kind of just like heaviness. Again, I don't want to escape, but I just start to float where I, the adrenaline carries me. And then after the show's done, I'm like, oh, I actually feel great. And I feel like that, that's a privilege to say because not many people can say that about their jobs, not many people can say that about their daily experiences, but I'm really grateful to have a job that allows me to do that. Hmm. Just some food for that. The real moral of the story, thanks for being in my live audience. You don't know how much of a different difference it makes to go to a live audience, seeing people there, giving, getting your energy. It means the world. New shows are being added. There's still spaces on some of our exi existing shows. Struggling to speak today. LilySingTix.com, go right now, register. If you've been to the show, come to more. If you've never been, come check it out. Shoot two shows a day. LilySingTix.com, go right now. Fill up those spots, yo. Let's show the most good. Should I just eat more fried foods? As much as possible. I was thinking drink less water, eat more fried foods. I think so. Yeah. 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 That's what I think. Too. No sleep either. That ship is yeah. sailed. Yeah. <laughs> and stop all that exercise. Oh. It's God. ruining you. Okay, wow. You're uprooting my life. Yeah. You, actually, you don't even have to go to therapy anymore. <laughs> just, <laughs> we just have the time these days. 7 Eleven, we're 11 minutes late for our second show, but feeling good? We're going to put a blazer on, finish pinning, get mic'd up. And do the second show, let's go! Down with all. I was like, who the <laughs> I literally was like, which NBC exec? <laughs> Again, no idea what I'm gonna say. <laughs> we just missed. Stand that can't be a good sign. <laughs> All right, finished my show. Just had an impromptu meeting with my lawyers. Um, just had a lawyers meeting. What time is it right now? What time? I gotta change. What time is it? It is. I have another meeting at nine, which I can't be late for. Eight twenty-nine. Eight twenty-nine. God damn. All right, the time is nine oh nine. I just got home. I'm already nine minutes late for my meeting with Kyle. We're gonna do this right now. It's the last thing of the day. God bless. Oh man, productive meeting. I also just went through the jokes, like so every night my writers send me uh, monologues or jokes that we gotta go over, and so I send them an audio note of my notes. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I'm tired, the time is. 10.47, we're officially done working for the day. <sighs> we did a lot today, we should be very proud, high five. I realized that was just me slapping your face. I'm gonna take a shower, take off all this makeup, and then maybe watch a movie. I try to do at least one leisure thing. Even if I'm really tired, it's kind of counterproductive if I'm tired, I should sleep. I try to do one leisure thing, just so I feel like I have some balance. <laughs> <laughs>